Yo, good to see you all here. Today is the big day for a very long time. We've wanted steam trains in Train Sim World, and now finally in Train Sim World 2, as of today, the spirit of steam is here, taking place between Liverpool and crew, and it is awesome. I've already played this a bit, and the video will be up later what today. What game is this? This is Train Sim World 2, Billy, and this is uh, badass. I'm happy to be back. We have ourselves a new emote in the chat today, and uh, we're five new members YouTuber, away from unlocking Fortnite another stream? new emote. So thanks again to everybody dropping those big O bombs in the chat and hanging out. You guys are the best, so thanks for being here. Let's get some ones in the chat for the number one community out there. It's been an awesome week so far, and it's a uh, going to be an awesomer week because we got a lot more DLCs and updates and stuff coming out, including Captain of Industry later today. We're going to do Captain of Industry. We're going to do Train Sim World 2. A lot of uh, moving, a lot of shaking here today. So welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here. If you haven't already make sure you go ahead and turn on that uh, allow for gifted memberships you should find it somewhere down below in the uh, chat down there and if anybody drops a bomb we will have ourselves some more emotes we got lots and lots of emotes but we got to get more slots for them susan susan demands it so welcome good to see you all back dlc's out on steam and same with trains in world 2 good stuff dude good game Pretty much every time a new DLC comes out, I want to play it for this game. There's not too many DLCs that I'm not interested in. There's a couple of trains and such that I'm not as familiar with that are, like, they're cool for the people who definitely want more trains, but I love the routes. And this not only adds a new route, but it's also taking place in 1958. And I think it has the, um, although not 1958, um, the uh, Jubilee, uh, there's a livery for the uh, current, uh, I forget what it is, Silver Platinum, double deluxe. I think I think the queen's got two. I think she went double platinum or something. How, however that works, I don't know. But anyway, she's she's got it going on. So they put some cool liveries in for uh, the I don't know the silver jubilee, whatever it may be. They they put in some cool stuff for um, this line and possibly other trains. I don't know. Y'all you'll have to check because I'm not entirely certain. But this game. It's a good game, and it's getting better. Chat's asking, is it multiplayer? Uh, it is not, but I would love to see this game get some multiplayer. There are a couple of uh, multiplayer train world games out there. There is uh, one out there for... Uh... Actually, i, I got to remember, the uh, people who made... Um, what is it? Uh, train Life? Someone DM me and remind me about Train Life. Uh, they like contacted me about a big update coming, and then I, like, I forgot about it. But I, I want to see if that's out, too. Because train games are... I don't know. There, there, there's something special, and it's really nice, for example, in games like Railroads Online where you get to make your own routes, and that game has a lot of different steam trains. But from what I've seen so far in this uh, DLC, it's pretty damn good. So, uh, welcome aboard. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's, like, updates from, like, 2018. The Crompton has arrived, guys, just, uh, you know, a, a short uh, four or five years ago. The uh, old DLC is out. I don't, I don't know what that means. But here it is, Spirit of Steam. We're going to go through the uh, tutorials here today on this one so we can... I've already done it, but uh, I want to hit some of these tutorials on how to refuel the trains, how to give them water, um, how to operate the trains. There's two different trains, too, that you get access to. There's an, a cargo version and a passenger version, pretty much of the same train. They operate uh, fairly similarly, and I think there's... I, I, I haven't seen any differences between them, but I'm pretty sure with them being different versions, there is, other than paint job... The cargo one is black, the uh, passenger one is green, and the uh, yeah the Jubilee one, I think we can actually... I think it's just delivery for the passenger trains, which is pretty cool. Allison K, thanks for the nine months as a hatchling. You are awesome. Thank you very much. You guys are really awesome. You've been waiting for Captain of Industry? Yes, I will have six keys for that to give away uh, later today, too. So if you're a big fan of uh, builder games with um, you know factorial-like feelings, definitely check that one out. Also, i got to say that the... Um, what is it? The um, the game Captain of Industry doesn't have trains, so this does. But hopefully they have it sometime soon. You want some train soundtrack? Sure, let's put on some. Uh, let's see. You guys know we always go to the old failsafe. Amen, brother. A little uh, Snow Runner music in the background. Also, Snow Runner has a DLC too. Guys, there are too many games and not enough time. Like, we cannot, we, there's no way <laughs> over the next month that we can cover all the games that are coming out in terms of updates, DLCs, releases, early access, beta, and so much more. All right, let's jump into Spirit of Steam and we'll uh, 
take our unofficial look. first look. Do you want the train soundtrack? Oh, well, uh, well yeah, the, the member train is going to have to leave the station. So we're going to have to get uh, a member train rolling. So if you'd like to, you can click or tap the join button or turn on the allow button. But regardless, smash like for trains, because I like trains, yeah. All right, we're going to jump out of here. But take a look at this. Here's uh, one of the trains. Yeah, brother. This is great. This means that they could bring in the big boy that, that with trains, steam trains, entering uh, this game. That means we could go anywhere back to, like, you know, it's 1958 here. Maybe we can go into the 1930s um, United States. Maybe we can go into the um, 70s in, uh, I don't know. Germany or something, I, wherever wherever steam trains may have still been used, maybe there'll be a heritage line or something like that where they, you know, have like a museum train. I think there's a lot of trains in the United States that are still operating that are steam trains that you can get on as a passenger just to ride. That I definitely like to do in the future. One thing I will say though about the DLC so far is that the um, I had to really turn the volume down for this because that steam coming out of the top of the train is really really loud. Um, and they, I, I'm playing on like kind of an early press version of the game that, you know, this officially comes out in just a little, like an hour or two on Steam. So hopefully one of the first things that they do is patch the, uh, uh, the sound effect for that. But yeah, pretty amazing. Oh, wow. Damn. You can even see the dude. Yeah. Sweet, man. Wow. That wasn't there before. Um, in the earlier little tutorials, they don't really have anybody working the firebox, so that's cool as hell to see. But anyway, Liverpool 1958, pretty badass. All the cars, all the vehicles, everything here is it's 1958, so late 50s, but also, you know, British factories from the 20s, 30s, 40s here as well. It's an amazing line. I love it. I love it. <laughs> graphics are better than Battlefield 2042. Uh, Battlefield 2042 taught us anything. It's that graphics really don't matter, and it's all about gameplay. Everybody is dressed in uh, appropriate uh, attire for the occasion. The sky is way too clean. Well, we can uh, change the weather anytime that we want. We can make it a snowstorm. We can make it rainy. We can make it... Uh, we can make it... Uh, hot or cold, winter or summer. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into a tutorial. We'll kind of take a little bit of a, a tour of what the tutorial has to offer. And then this is one of the, uh, I think this is one of the missions. One of the, uh, what do you call it? One of the um, scenarios, I think they call it. Oh, there you go. Actual uh, posters, I think. Nice. Uh, do you want to give up control? Uh, no. Excuse me. All right, let's go do some of the missions. We'll take a look at everything for everybody curious. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. What year was the Firth of Fourth Bridge built? Um, 1800s? Alright, so we got five training scenarios, and we've got six actual scenarios. Some having to do with, uh... Cows, some having to do with storms. Oh yeah, this is another thing too, is maintaining uh, the train during weather conditions that uh, aren't optimal for steam. You gotta keep things nice and toasty. To keep the train a-running. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into some training. We'll start with the uh, Liverpool uh, crew route introduction, and then we'll kind of just work our way down the line. Refueling too. Oh, there's also uh, signaling too. They have uh, 1958's era uh, signals as well, which really get complicated. Cool stuff though, man. It's cool stuff. Yo, good morning, DJ. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. 
Yeah, let's get a one in the chat if you're excited, one in the chat if you're watching live, one in the chat if you love some trains. Good to see you all this morning. Welcome aboard. Amen, brother. Uh, step back in time and discover the soot and sounds of the Romantic Steam Era. Climb aboard iconic living locomotives hungry for coal and water and work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic um, Merseyside Cheshire in, uh, with trains in world spirit of steam Liverpool crew. Wow. Pog. All right, let's start with the introduction. Wow. Amen, brother, yeah. Oh boy, here we go. It's gonna be pretty. Welcome to Crew, located in the northwest of England. Step back in time and discover the soot and sounds of the steam era. Climb aboard iconic living locomotives hungry for coal and water. And work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic Merseyside and Cheshire. Here we go. Brown, brown. Yeah, choo choo indeed, bro. There's an empty poster over there. Let's fix that while we're here. Oh, would you look at that? Everybody's dressed for 1958. Fancy. Cool. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 3. <laughs> like rendering in the graphics. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to refill sand buckets, fill coal sacks, place travel posters, and light braziers. All right, follow the train uh, markers to the train. Platform three. Oh, this guy looks suspicious. No smoking. This can't be accurate. Uh, maybe in these cars, or maybe that was just a non-smoking car. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Some are non-smoking. Some are, some aren't mark. Take a seat in first class. Ooh, chat. Oh, is this you guys? Hello. How's it going, chat? You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. Fancy. Look at that outfit. Damn. That is cool. There it goes, brother. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, murder on the Orient Express, exactly. This train is powered by an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive. These were built between 1934 and 1936 and originally nicknamed Red Staniers because of their original crimson livery, but later earned the nickname Jubilee when one of their class was named Silver Jubilee in recognition of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. During your journey as a driver on this route, you'll learn to drive this locomotive as well as the LMS Stanier Class 8F, a freight locomotive. 
you'll learn to haul a variety of different freight between the bustling yards and perform both express and local stopping passenger services. Learn all there is to know about operating these iconic locomotives in an era when steam was king. Welcome to Trainsim World Spirit of Steam, Liverpool to Crew. Wow, we did it, chat. That's just to help you learn to walk around and stuff. All right, now we get to drive for real. By the way, chat, this game is available on Steam. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Oh, now it's uh, wanting us to go on to the next thing, but we want to do the uh, more tutorials. It wants us to, like, skip ahead to stuff we've already done. You wonder if the Flying Scotman is in this? I don't know. I, I don't know if that's the same train type. Okay, let's go to the uh, Class 8F introduction. Ooh, this is going to be beautiful. Welcome to Runcorn Station. In this training module, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Stania Class 8F steam locomotive in VR Black livery. Okay. Follow the markers to the platform. Yeah, I don't even know what type of train the Flying Scotsman is. First I heard about that was in uh, Railroad Tycoon 3. Lots of history and knowledge in those games. Ooh, that's what we're driving. Amen, brother. Look at that. The Flying Scotsman is an A3 Pacific. Ooh. Oh, look at how nice this is. Kind of hard to remember in this game that it's 1958, like, you know, it's not people just Today, dressing up for a we'll modern train. A service bound for Ditton. This class of locomotive was built between 1935 and 1946 and was designed as a freight version of the highly successful Black Bay locomotive. Ooh. Climb up onto the footplate to begin. It came down to Australia for a promotional visit? That's awesome, dude. What's up, HZ? Good to see you. Welcome aboard. Alright, let's get on board. We gotta get on the member train. Fancy. Oh, nobody's stoking the fire today. Let's prepare the locomotive for departure. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures you'll get the maximum power to get the train moving. As you pick up speed, you'll need to move it towards the center for safe power. Ooh, fancy. This locomotive has two types of brakes. Steam and vacuum. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply on the rest of the train, so long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. Use the combination brake to apply both types of brakes 
simultaneously. Vacuum brakes are released when there is a vacuum in the system. To apply braking force, air is added back in by the driver using the combination brake. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we need the ejectors. The small ejector should be left open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. Open the cylinder cocks to remove any water from cylinders after it has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive if it doesn't. The regulator acts like the throttle for the steam locomotive. It controls how much steam is delivered to the cylinders. Slowly open the regulator to apply power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in a steam locomotive. Ooh, we're going boys. The member train is leaving the station. Oh yeah. Now we're moving, we can open the regulator some more. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, man. This. That's, yeah. This right here. Yeah. Look at all the cars, the row houses, the steam, the bridges. This just hits different. Yeah, look at that. What is the hot key for the whistle? I I thought it was H. Maybe it's different. Look at how amazing this is though. The damn uh, arch bridge going all the way from the station through town to the bridge. I mean, that's insanity that this was built. Indeed, it is spacebar. We're starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the mid gear. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but saves energy. We are flying, baby. Dude, look at all the factories and stuff, man. I mean, that's amazing. This right here is just like, wow. I mean, look at the amount of bricks that were used to make that and stone and other things. Even though we're in 1958, it just feels to me like, uh, it feels to me like we're in the 1800s, like we're playing Anno 1800. I mean, all the factories are made out of those iconic red bricks. Even the smaller train bridges down there. I mean, that's amazing. We're approaching the next stop. Let's prepare the train to stop. Close the rig. The first manual signal box was in 1956. Oh, really? Well, we're about to uh, see some of that. The next training is to uh, figure out how to go through signals and such. Bring the train to a stop in the indicated position. Man, look at that. A hell of a steam train, man. Imagine if we get the big boys. Oh, 1856 is what you meant. Yeah, I thought that was a little earlier for that, but... I'm no expert. There you go. There's the uh, signals and such that are going to be very complicated.
How do you stop? Uh, using vacuum uh, brakes. We're stopping right now to pull into the station here. Luckily, we're not a passenger train, so we don't really need to uh, be too accurate. Great work. Let's see how you did. Sweet. <laughs> that is badass, boys. Woo! That that part right there is just amazing. Coming across the the river like that, damn. That's just. Uh, there's 1,976 worth of add-ons for this game. Ah, uh, that's true. You know, to be honest, um, you don't always need to... You know, you don't need to have them all. I think this is the type of game where you pick and choose, because if you're not interested in... As I usually say, like, you know, if you're a German rail fan, if you like all just the German trains, that, you know, you just get all the German stuff. And uh, you, you get to pick and choose, but yeah. Uh, it's not cheap to, like, go and d detail and make all these, but... Um, it's pretty impressive. I like it. It's kind of the same with like ATS and stuff too, although those are more interconnected and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to pick all of them, but it's better for your experience to do them all. They are interconnected that way. This is kind of more of a detailed one. You know, a, a train line in the UK is not going to connect to a, a train line in Germany, but there are ferries in the channel, of course, that you can take from the UK to go to Germany in, in Eurotruck. It's spendy, but if you're a fan, you know, you're already in. It's like with minifigs for, uh, or like Warhammer stuff, yeah. All right, let's learn how to do semi four signaling, and then we'll do the Jubilee Class 6P, and then we'll do re how to refuel the trains. That'll be cool. Flight simulator is the same way. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you get into flight sim, and the next thing you know, you got 14 add-ons, 36 pl extra uh, planes, yeah. Amen, brother. Chat, we are just five new members away from a new emote slot. Welcome to so for those of you who become members, module, we will learn how to read and react to that's going to be awesome. Signaling. We're getting there. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Green indicates that you are clear to pass the signal. Yellow indicates that you can proceed, but with caution, as the next signal might be red, or there could be a hazard. Red indicates that you should stop and should not pass this signal. We're learning Big Brain Emote. Some of these displays can be hidden by the settings menu for a more challenging experience. Now let's take a look at some of the signals you'll see on this line. There are two principal classes of signals. Home and starter signals. These are mandatory and an approaching driver must stop if the signal displays a danger aspect. Distant signals. These are a warning. An approaching driver may pass the signal displaying a caution aspect, but must be prepared to stop at the following signal. The signal in front of you is currently displaying a danger aspect. That means the line ahead is not clear and you must wait. Aww. The signal in front of you has now cleared. However, the next distant signal could display caution, meaning that the following signal will be displaying a danger aspect. Okay, let's go. Stay 
stay vigilant and keep an eye out for the next signal. Proceed when ready. We're learning. Uh, yeah, in other, like right now, the uh, person that works the firebox is not present, but it's, uh, it's just an animation. But in the later uh, scenarios and such, they'll just show somebody in the train actually working the, uh, working the coal. Remember. You can always just look at the heads-up display if you're unsure what the next signal is. Okay, let's go. Damn, dude, look at that steam go. Did I see the new Star Wars game trailer? Oh, for um, Jedi Survivor or Survival? Um, a little bit, yes. The train should be as loud as the whistle. Yeah, I have the volume turned down because there is a there's a valve just in front of the cab there that uh, when steam comes out of that, based on like pressure control, it's way too loud. But I'm playing like an earlier. The game of fit this DLC comes out in just a few hours on Steam, so I'm hoping just before release, either A, they'll do like a last minute little update for, uh, you know, getting it ready for full release for everybody, or B, uh, people will just say, hey, that's way too loud, and they'll patch it within the next 24 hours or so. Other than that, it's all good. It's the only thing that I found annoying, but for a sound thing, that's like an easy 10 second fix. Dude, look at that, man. That's amazing. Is there a photo mode in this game? I need to go into, like, a photo mode, dude. They need a photo mode right here. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that could be... I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a... That could be a power plant. Maybe it's an olive garden. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe it's a Greg's. That's what it is. The safety vol valve is supposed to be really loud. That's why it's so loud it's not a bug. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it's a game, too. So, like, having to turn down all sounds overall because you can barely hear over the uh, the safety valve, it's like, you know. It would be nice that if it had its own control slider. Uh, otherwise, I can't, I can't really hear the train running. I can't really hear, like, all the chatter at the platforms with people talking and... Uh, other vehicles and stuff driving around, like cars and tr trucks and stuff bringing things around. Lorries. Like, I had to, uh... I had to set the uh, sound all the way to, like, 20% and master volume down to 25 just to, like, be able to even, like, hear. All right.
Looks like we'll slow it down a little bit. What's the eternal external alerts silence slider? Uh, that could be for other trains. Damn, that looks really cool, though. I gotta say, I just love that, man. I've always loved steam trains as a kid, so to see something like that, it's just something special. Is this Harry Potter? Yes. We're bringing Harold Pat Patrice and all of his friends to the, uh, wherever those kids worked. Uh, to increase boiler pressure, open the dampeners. Um, I don't... I haven't learned where that is just yet. But of course, of course. We'll just take it slower. No, we're in no hurry at all. On the floor on the other side of the train. Exhaust injector trim valve. Live injector water valve. Exhaust injector. Ah, there it is. Oh, wow, cool. A little steam actually comes out of the whistle. That's cool. Uh, yes, this is just cargo for now, but the, the DLC does feature passenger and cargo train. Uh, well, trains and the cars, yeah. Right now we're just hauling cargo. What a train line, man. Yeah, you can hit F12 for screenshots in, in uh, Steam. Yeah, I guess what I could do is press F1 and then hit F12 like this. And that'll give you a nice screenshot. I just want a photo mode, though, to... Um, you know, like with the Euro, Euro Truck and ATS, they have a photo mode where you can... Um, I guess if you want to play full realism, here you go. Here's your full realism mode. But, uh, yeah, I want to be able to, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, change the weather on the fly or the time of day and just flip things around just to do whatever. We're, we're flying. Oh, F10 pauses the scene? Hold on. No, control F10 doesn't do anything for me, but it's all good. I'm not that mad. <laughs> is it like euro truck you buy the trains and get missions uh no you're just an employee of any of the railroads that are featured in the game but uh there there are games like that though another one of them is called um train life or whatnot but it's pretty cool how's the frame rate uh good for me it might look a little less than 60 on OBS through the stream, but for me it's, you know, a solid 60 frames per second.
Bum, bum. Cool. Yeah, everybody's been wanting steam trains for a very long time in this game, and it's just great to see. It's been a long time since, um, you know, people wanted that in Train Sim World 1, and, I mean, you know, they have electric trains, diesel, electric, steam, you know, all the different variants of trains. It's just really cool. Options. I wonder if there'll be like a monorail simulator. It'd be kind of cool to actually like have a ability to drive a... The only two places I know in the United States that have a famous monorail are... I think Miami and Seattle. And I think both of them were built for like the Olympics or something. Go ahead and slow things down. And come to a stop. Uh, yes, we're uh, just a few new members away from our new... Uh, unlocking a new slot for our favorite emotes. We're close. So make sure, if you guys haven't already, gifted memberships Great are work. here. That's everything for this training module. Gifted memberships are here, so don't forget to uh, turn that on. So that way you can claim those. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. All right, let's go back to the main menu. Hey, man, brother. All right, let's do uh, one more training before the refuel. So we'll do the class 6P introduction and then finally on to refuel. And then we can do whatever we want. They used to have a monorail in Sydney, but you think they pulled it down after they watched the Simpsons episode for monorails? Monorail. 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 Welcome to Allerton. In this introduction, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive in PR Green livery. This class of locomotive was built between 1934 and 1936 and nicknamed Jubilee after one of its class was named Silver Jubilee. To get started, climb onto the footplate. Okay. Looks pretty. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Well, that's true. Uh, Disney has a monorail as well. That's true. Come on, baby. Give me that driver's seat. There we go. In this lesson, we will be performing passenger operation. Oh, so we have to give orders to open the train doors. Okay. Loading up some passengers. Amen, brother. We're now ready to depart for West Allerton. Okay. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. Slowly open the regulator to apply power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in a steam locomotive. Oh, no, uh... Yeah, no caboose.
Damn, this route is beautiful. Oh, there's a green double-decker bus. Look at that, man. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brakes, we use the ejectors. All right, 20 miles per hour. We're starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the mid gear. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but saves energy. Damn, that is fancy. Yeah, keep on trucking, brother. We're eastbound and down, amen. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can be done? Amen. I oh, would go a little faster than this. We're approaching the next station. Let's prepare the train to slow down. Are you sure we're not going to get there for another six months? All right, press D to close the regulator. Use the combination brake to apply both types of brakes simultaneously. Oh, nice. You can see the firebox opening. Oh, wait, is somebody? No. I guess we're just we're just stopping wherever, okay. Oh there we go. Well this thing'll stop a lot easier than we think. Big gear, regulator closed. There we go. You choo choo choose me? Well, thank you. Yes, this is Void Train. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Also, a very safe train because it's a bear free zone. The UK has been bear free since uh, 1957. Except for in zoos. Perfect. Oh, unlock doors, okay. I think we're a little too long for the station, though. First try, emote. Oh, we, we were stopping where we were told, so. Have I ever been to the UK? Not yet. Soon, though. I'll have to go visit Harry. Go bother him. Hog lad. can now continue the journey to Mossley Hill. We're going to Moss Isley? Okay. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we use the ejectors.
Yeah, F1 heights the HUD, that's right. Damn, that is a sight to see, man. You know, I typically I like cargo trains, but I don't know. Seeing these old uh, steam passenger trains is just like it's just a little bit. It's a little bit more. Wow, look at that! Churches in the background, towns, bridges. It's nice. Alt F four does the same, really. Let me try. Oh. All right, let's open her up, boys. Also, the coal that's in the tender behind us will actually go down. You'll actually see there be less and less in there over time. Yeah, if you derail, it'll just buff out. You just get like a little, little cloth, some wax, buff out. Ah, uh, you can fuel the trains in this game. We'll breakage a little too early. Oh well, it's just training. Wait, pressing the Y key will automatically... Well, that's kind of nice. The Y key will actually open the correct side of doors. Although they don't look open. Nope. Never mind. I knew that was too good to be true. Just use the... Uh... Tab menu is way easier to do that. Bum, 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 bum. All right, guys, I'm putting the pizza rolls in. Someone set a timer for like 11 minutes, okay? All right, they're going in now. Okay. Uh oh, oh. My bad. That's fine. <laughs> Train has a mind of its own. Oh, don't worry, chat. This is just training. Now close the doors and prepare to depart for Edge Hill, unguided. Unguided? But I need you. Uh, is there anyone not a member yet? We're getting to the point where we're getting like a hundred percent like membership in all of the uh, chats. But yes, if you're not a member and you'd like to win yourself a membership here today, and you have turned on allow, put a one in the chat if you got yourself set up ready to win a membership. With a few more members, we have ourselves another emote slot, and that means things get a lot more fun in the chat too when we play some more, uh, more uh, 
city builders and uh, simulators. We play everything, man. Look at those cars, dude. Look at those cars, man. Bum, bum, bum. Damn, this route is gorgeous, dude. If I ever get a chance, I gotta... Is this still exist? It must, right? Even though this is 1958, this train line still must be a thing, right? Although there's probably not steam trains on it, but that'd be cool. What's up, Fairy Fam? Good to see you. Oh, it still exists. It's just more modern now. Shame. Have I tried a game called Cannibal Crossing? It's like Project Zomboid. No, I've never heard of that. Send me a DM on that one on the Discord. That sounds interesting. The houses are pretty much the same. And this just looks nice. Little red phone booth over there. What do you call a train loaded with toffee? I don't know, but I hope it stops at my house. And look at the houses, like as far as the eye can see. Wow. That's massive. Oh, it's a choo-choo train. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm assuming maybe a thing or two has changed since 1958 when this DLC takes place. We're going way too fast through here. But now we know. All right, let's do mid-gear. Regulator off. massive so much area for the trains it's ridiculous how advanced that is for steam train era I mean there's a lot of stuff going on here a lot of traffic in a small area or at least the potential for it
Have I done any routes in the rain yet? Um, yeah, there's a few that are scenarios. Not for this train or whatnot, but there are a few scenarios that are, uh, you know, in the rain. Especially in Germany, for whatever reason. There's a lot of, like, stormy night ones where there's, like, problems on the train line. Like a tree gets downed or something and you get a stop. Ah, eh, close enough. No, 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 no. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. All right, not bad. The more you play the route, of course, the more you'll you'll know it by being familiar with it. Okay, let's do. A final tutorial for refueling the trains. The refueling introduction. Uh, is this a game where the devs removed NPC trains because they used opposite track? Um... There's NPC trains in this game. I don't know about that specific Welcome part, though. Speak sightings. In this training module, we will learn how to refill the tender with water before coupling up to a set of freight wagons. Firstly, we'll need to prepare the locomotive to receive water. Walk over to the water crane where you will need to move the water hose over the rear of the locomotive's tender. I don't know what was up with that intro, but okay. the hose is in position, climb up the tender and open the water hatch. Insert the hose into the tender tank once the water hatch is open. The hose is in and the tender tank is ready to be filled. Turn on the water and start filling the tender tank. Uh oh. I don't think they anticipated for the player to be in here. Uh oh. I went up here to see if I could uh, look at the valves for uh, how full it was. It won't let me off the uh, train. Okay, that's a that's gonna have to be a patch. Thomas is a very very hard working engine. What kind of engine was Thomas the tank engine, Chad? He was actually a helicopter. Alright, let's try it again. Welcome to Speak Sightings. In this training module, we will learn how to refill the tender with water before coupling up to a set of freight wagons. Firstly, we'll need to prepare the locomotive to receive water. Walk over to the water crane where you will need to move the water hose over the rear of the locomotive's tender. Now the hose is in position, 
line up the tender and open the water hatch. Insert the hose into the tender tank once the water hatch is open. The hose is in and the tender tank is ready to be filled. Turn on the water and start filling the tender tank. All right, there we go. All right, don't go, don't go back on the train. The tender tank is now full. Turn off the water and bring the hose back to the water train before closing the water. There we go. All right, now we can drive. Let's do it. Now we need to fill the tender with coal. All right, now we're getting coal. That's going to be cool. No, I mean, it's going to be coal. Oh, nice. That's automatic. What's up, Bender? Good to see you. The locomotive is ready to go, but the points in front need switching. These points are manually controlled, so we'll have to leave the locomotive and walk to the point. I gotta stand up now? Horrible. Okay. You do love infrastructure, yeah. This 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 route has it, baby. To switch the direction of the points. Pretty amazing how much infrastructure is here in this one. I'm impressed. The locomotive is now ready to move. Climb aboard the locomotive and drive it to the stop bar. Amen, brother. Yeah. All right, reverse her forward 75. Combination brakes release. Open regulator.
Uh, there are videos on firing up a steam locomotive. Takes like 45 minutes. So many steps. Oh, damn. I should watch one of those. I want to... Um Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. That'd be awesome to watch. Lyrics, lyrics to this song. Yeah, it's just a bunch of "Amen, brother, yeah, brother, brother." You want to watch one now? Well, maybe. We could try to take a look at a video for starting up this train. That'd be kind of interesting. Look at how many rails are in this yard. Oh, there goes a train right now hauling cargo. That is awesome. Hoglad. We're going to race them. Get wrecked. Ah, he's going to win. Oh, well. The points into the siding have been set for us. So you reverse into the sidings and stop in front of the wagons. Whoa, 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 <laughs> chief, whoa. Now we don't have to go that fast. We're gonna back up and pick up some wagons. Amen. Steam looks great, though. Hopefully we get more steam trains. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, these trains run on the power of positivity. Uh, yep, this DLC is out, um, I think, in an hour, maybe two. But just check, pardon the pun, check Steam <laughs> to see. to uh, pick up some wagons so we got to kind of it's almost like with this one it's like landing an aircraft carrier you got to be pretty precise landing on an aircraft carrier i would imagine landing an aircraft carrier would be pretty hard since it's in the water you have to be going pretty fast to take off with that unless you're uh you know on the helicarrier then that's a different thing oh you're homesick today colin oh well welcome to train time Remember? 
Okay, we gotta we gotta bump them and then stop. That'll do. The couple to the wagons climb down from the locomotive and walk to the rear of the tender. What's my favorite DLC on this game? Every time a new DLC comes out, I, I say that it's my favorite because I'm just really excited to try it out. Um, but I mean, you know, there's the, the New York... Um, there's a recent New York line that came out for Compton, I think. Or for um, Harlem. Yeah, the Harlem line was great before that. One that still sticks in my mind is the... Um, I think there's a Swiss line... That goes around Switzerland, or maybe it's Austria, I can't recall, but very beautiful trains. All cool stuff. All the older stuff. All the modern stuff. I don't know. Trains are just badass. So I guess all of it. Oh, cool. We can actually put a uh, train lamp on. Nice. That's cool. The wagons are now coupled, and the service is ready to start. Climb back aboard the locomotive and drive to the yard exit to finish this training module. I mean, it's a true. It, now it's a true answer. I mean, you know, trains are trains, bro. So it's hard to like. Oops, it's hard to choose, but there's a lot to like. You know what I mean? Like you got your steam trains, your electric trains. There's different eras, cargo passengers. I mean, there's a lot to love here. direction or 75 I must just be a heavy train there we go as through differential lock on whole <laughs> wheel drive There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of... A lot of cars there. Whew. All right, so now we just got to stop up here at uh, about 300 yards, and we'll be good to go, brothers. Amen. Stream steam trains are just flat out cool. Yeah, I um. I think I was on a, stre a, a, a steam train in Japan, although I don't, maybe it wasn't, but uh, I was on a really beautiful train line in Japan. I think there's a video of it on my Instagram. I've also ridden bikes on Japanese train lines before. There's some decommission lines where they let you, uh, they basically put you on like a little, um, a little rail car that's powered by bicycles, so your wheels touch the track, and then there's like two cars or two bikes that sit together uh, next to each other on each rail. 
and you can bike across. It was awesome. My Japanese friends came up with some really cool ideas when I was there the last time for stuff. That was probably one of them. <laughs> it's really badass. I love that one. Ah, uh, yes, this is a DLC, yes. Yes, indeed, brother, yeah. Yay. All right, we failed because I went a little too far, but... I was having a cup of coffee rather than uh, pulling back on the throttle, but that's fine. That's basically GG on that one. All right, let's go into some scenarios now. Uh, let's do... So that was that one. I think I can just load the... I can probably hit continue and just stop early. Let's go to uh, scenarios. What do we got? Bovine blockage. A four-legged friend has come to sp spot an early morning service between Liverpool, Lime Street, and Crewe. Uh, turn a Jubilee locomotive around at Crew North Sheds and a couple... Oh, a couple up to a passenger service at Crew. Oh, a standard... Tr we have a stranded train. A stranded train has phoned Crew for help. Go and lend a helping hand. Uh, collect carriages bound for Liverpool, Lime Street and return to Edge Hill. Rough weather along the line means the trains are having to run carefully to manage their loads and the conditions. In this sandbox scenario, you can sort and build consist as you please. Well, let's do the train with the uh, cows. Remember. Cool. Yeah, that was the end of the last uh, tutorial. Basically just stop and then it'll be like, good job, yeah. All right, welcome to Runcorn. Today you'll be operating a passenger service to crew. All right, unlock doors. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. 8 a.m. All aboard the member train. Do I travel by rail a lot or drive? Well, in real life, drive, but I would prefer to take a train anywhere. That's why Japan is uh, very badass. I like that. Love myself some Japanese trains. Here we go. I took the Amtrak from LA to New York. It took five days and it was awesome. Oh man. I'd love to do some videos on that. Oh, hey Raptors, halfway through the year, what's your favorite game you played in 2022 across all genres? 
Well, I certainly enjoyed V Rising with friends. That that was a lot of fun. Although I wish I could play that more. Um, just playing new stuff. Uh, Vampire Survivors is a lot of fun. Although that game came out in 2021, but I play that in my spare time semi frequently. Pretty excited about the release of uh, Captain of Industry today. To be able to play that will be a lot of fun. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to determine that because there's also a lot of games that get updates that make the game better than ever. And I've enjoyed playing, like, for example, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic more than ever because of all the new stuff they added. Um... Damn, good questions. I guess I've, I always do enjoy when a game gets a DLC or an update that makes me want to go back to it as well. Like, for example, with, um, with, uh, you know, End Zone, A World Apart. That game recently got some up, uh, DLC that made me want to go back and enjoy it all over again. It is good when a game, when you're knowledgeable about a game and you get good at it, you don't play it for a while. You come back, and then there's some new stuff. So then you're kind of familiar with it again. So you kind of know what you're doing, but there's also new stuff to challenge you. And that's fun when you've got a skill set for a game and you come back to revisit it with uh, new, new things. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's open it up, boys. Oh, yeah, gas, sim a gas station simulator. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, th I feel like, um, honestly, it's like at, at, at this point in time, if you were to ask me my favorite food, it's like I got to cut that down into, like, I can't just say pizza good me like because it's it's too simple of an answer. It's more like um, I I gotta like qualify everything by saying like uh, favorite simulator, favorite city builder, favorite first person shooter, favorite um, you know like and, and like I would say like city skylines and Factorio are different. So it's like one is like a factory builder. Oh, man, I don't know. All right. Whoa, hey there, bud. No coal on the shovel? Unplayable. cool that he looks out the window too your castle heart is decaying and v rising oh <laughs> i've been so bit i know there's more there's so many games i want to go and play and just don't i don't have all the time for at the moment sucks too many good games i guess maybe that's not a problem after all Well, we are, yeah, we're at a, like a 1% grade almost. Oh yeah, Japan is, uh, you can travel around Japan via the Shinkansen and then travel around via, um, you know, regional trains and commuter trains. Lots of options for travel there. Man, look at that.
Will I go back to Sniper Elite again? Um, probably not. The games that I really enjoy going into more than... I, I love playing every game once to get a feel for it and to kind of get um, a little taste and to try to... I love trying everything once, at least. And simulator games and builder games are a little bit more my... Uh, they take a lot of time to play and they're very satisfying to see building, cooperation, development and like um, evolution over time invested. Uh, some of those games are just kind of more like getting through the story and such and Sniper Elite for me was like uh, eh, clunky and had issues and such and I'm sure it'll get better over time but um, if I play that again it'll just be with a friend for memes or something like that, you know. What is my favorite DLC release in 2022? Well, I, I'm, I'm certainly uh, excited by this, with it finally bringing Steam Trains. I love all the Train Sim World DLCs, but this one, like, opens the door to, uh, you know, it just, it just hits different. What's up, Train Simulator? How's everyone enjoying the route? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful day. We're doing the uh, bovine challenge or whatever, whatever the uh, route is. It's pretty. It is amazing how we can go from really built up urban areas here to farm fields. It's re really uh, casual. Or cozy. Something. It's something good. I think my favorite uh, thing, though, is like discovering a game that's kind of like indie out of nowhere. You know what I mean? You know, like something made by a small team, like workers and resources, or uh, captain of industry, that kind of thing. Sniper leads very polarizing. You either like it or really hate it. Oh, there's a cow. Cows. Man, we're we're working at at least hitting light speed. Man, look at it go. That's amazing, man. I'd rather you play something you enjoy rather than suffer through for our sake. Well, that's why there's always, you know, the first look at stuff. And if things are not, uh... If things are not good after our first little peek, then we... Typically don't come back and give other things our time, you know. That's ridiculous. That looks beautiful. You want me to get up to 88 miles an hour? They did do that, didn't they? In Back to the Future 3, they got that steam train up to... Um 88 miles an hour, yeah. 
Moody, thanks for playing this. You got it, man. Hey, I, I listen, you know. I'm just playing this for me. You guys are just, you know, happen, happen to come along for the ride. Damn, this looks like we're playing uh, Transport Fever instead. Look at that, baby. Work it, girl, work it. What a hell of a line. Damn. That's nice. It's nice, chat. Hey, Chris Yao, thanks for subscribing, dude. Appreciate that. When do we get to Hogwarts? Well, some of you haven't paid your tuition, so we're actually uh, we're sending you back to your parents. <laughs> Listen, Hogwarts is magical and all, but uh, if we ain't getting those loan payments, you know, the admissions office ain't happy. They got to make their money, too. This, the Severn Railway is a heritage railway in, oh my god, Tropeshire and Wist Worcestershire. You know, uh, work it girl, work it, work it. I think um, there is a DLC that does have the heritage line or a heritage line of some sort. Hey, what's the train that they use in uh, Polar Express? Uh, driver, the signaler is calling us over. Go and see what they want. Hold on, let me open. unlock the doors first. Oh, you want me to get out over there? Uh, there's report of a cow up the <laughs> and I think they have the situation under control now. I'll route you into the slow line. Sorry, it may take a journey a bit longer, and you can inform the signalman at Hartford the situation too, please. There's a cow on the line? Bro, just, you know, let's have some burgers. I won't tell anybody. Oh, I can't go up into your... Oh. Do we have a cow catcher? No. I don't know why he just didn't text me that. Why didn't you just send a text, bro? All right, let's go. Okay, release brakes. Order 75. And away we go. Polar Express is a Baldwin 284. Oh, wow. I, I love when chat knows everything. I love that.
Damn, that's a nice train, man. All right, we're stopping in 2.5 miles at Hartford. Can't go more than 35 miles an hour. You think he's filling sandbags? Uh, coasting now, boys. Hey, thank you, everybody, for 300 likes, too, by the way. Welcome to all the new subscribers and members this week. Thanks for all the amazing member bombs in the chat, all the super chats, all the awesomeness in the Discord. I'll be doing a giveaway of uh, Captain of Industry, by the way, which is the new kind of factorial-like city builder with a few other things going on. We'll be playing that later today, but, man, it's been an awesome, amazing uh, week, everybody. So thank you for all the support. Chats number ones, that's right. Yep, I got stuff I want to give away for free on the Discord, so jump on there. We've been doing a lot of V Rising giveaways, that like cool vampire castle building type game that's kind of like Valheim. Kind of. But, uh. More to come soon. go. One mile to go. Point eight miles to go. Going a little uphill, so that should be fine. Darn cows.
Oh. Yep, there's a guy who works the, uh, the coal shoveling. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Boom. All the markers to talk to the signaler. Oh. Yeah, we gotta tell that guy. I've just come from Acton Bridge to check on the cow situation. Looks like they've herded the cows, but... They're still quite near the tracks. Probably not safe to go up the lines yet. Thanks for the report. I'll inform Acton Bridge. Stop at Winsford. Ooh, you can hear the cows. Oh yeah, they're there. Some cows. Man, it looks pretty, dude. <laughs> pretty amazing. And look, keep keeping the tea warm. Tea kettle keeping warm above the uh, above the firebox. Three point seven miles to go, boys.
badass. It's funny, I tend to think that trains are exotic, but uh, 10 mile one that po passes through your town every other night. Oh yeah, well, I mean, passenger trains. I, I think I've seen more cargo trains in the last, uh, whatever. Wow, boys. Almost traveling at 50 miles an hour. Okay. If we... Are we still five members short of a new emote slot? Um, well, it was five when I checked last night, so it, it could have gone up to like ten or something like that. Five or ten new members, we have ourselves another emote slot. We'll probably get it uh, sometime today if we get more member bombs in the chat. Do you get to fight off train robbers? Boy, imagine if they made that a DLC, where it's like 1890. In the U.S., and you gotta like fight off train robbers and stuff. That'd be hilarious. All right, so one point seven miles to go to Winsford, and then we're are we gonna stop at Bradford? Is that, a, is that a stop on the line? Buford T train station? And no, Tampa guy, this train does not stop at the White Mare. Or anywhere near Chinatown, for that matter. I know what you're thinking, pal. No bears. Bradford is a city in the north. <laughs> of course it is. In the northern English county of West Yorkshire. Oh my god. I knew it. Buford T. Gamer is not to be trusted. Oh, well, I'm going to train driver jail. Oh, well, they can walk. That's fine. We're just scouting ahead a little bit to make sure it's safe. Wow, there, wait, there's like little puddles and stuff and like ponds? That's some crazy cool detail. Wait, they have like farm fields that close to the station? Wait, are those sheep? Oh, no, they're hay bales. 
They kind of look a little awkward, though. Wow, is that Scooby-Doo in the mist? Oh, it's a milk wagon, isn't it? Dude, look at that van. That is badass. Are those bananas? Those are bananas. Is this the last train to Clarksville? Um, maybe. All right, time to go to crew. Banana. All right, let's go. I'm gonna have to throw on differential lock, all wheel drive. Are the ba I, I'm not sure if the bananas are in pajamas. We'll have to, I'll get back to you on that one. Come on, brother. Spin them tires. Let's go. <laughs> Those are wheels, YouTuber. Oh, actually, look. You can see sparks coming off the... If it actually shows it. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, we're going too fast now. If it slips, though, you'll see sparks. It's pretty cool. Seven miles to go. We got a long way on the route to go now. Going to take a whole lot of flooring. Amen, brother. Yeah. Damn, that looks good. Man, those are some massive train bridges, too.
Oh. 6.1 to go now. Look at the uh, factory smokestacks and stuff. Not the only smokestack around here. Just a ways to go now. Just a little ways. You're interested to see if there's any inclines? Uh, we're at point two right now. Is the use of a sandbox in this game? Um, I don't know if the passenger cars have like a kitty recreation area. Or a bar or a bistro. Uh, let's see. Sanders around here somewhere. There it is. That was, that was a weird effect. What was that? Three point five miles to go. Amen. I can't believe they finally added steam trains. Feels good, man. How's the ride? Pretty cool. You can actually sit inside the passenger cars too and let the AI do the driving and you can kind of sit as a passenger and take pictures and stuff or just simulate it, what it's like to, you know, ride any of the routes.
All right, about one and a half miles to go, pretty shortly. Omar Garcia, thanks for subbing as well. Nice to have so many new subs here today. You love the videos? Thank you, Jeremy. That's nice. <laughs> Is there an in-game insurance you can buy for accidents? No. You're essentially already just a railroad employee. There are other games out kind of like this that do allow you to go to... Uh, kind of play like a trucking simulator. Amen, brother. Look at that. Yo, Calrid dropping the big O5 bomb in the chat. It begins. Thank you very much, dude. Member train has begun. All aboard. Make sure you've uh, tapped that message in the chat and click allow for any other gift bombs in the chat. You'll be able to accept those from our awesome and amazing community. Thanks again, everybody, for the big O support. And if you guys just got one of those e uh, the uh, memberships, don't forget to say thank you. And also, membership bomb emotes in the chat. Let them have it, boys. That is awesome. Thank you very much. And there we are. Whew. 
That's all for today. Hopefully the lines can be cleared and open soon. Oh yeah, cows breaking loose. They're breaking loose. That was cool. With silver on it. Yeah, we overshot one of the stations, but what what are you gonna do? The only thing you can do is improve. All right, let's see. Let's do a, is there one for a car? A cargo? A stranded train is phoned through for help. Go and lend a helping hand. Uh, rough weather along the line means trains have to run carefully to manage the loads and the condition. Oh, that's a cargo train. That seems interesting. Let's do that one. Well, actually, before we do that, I want to see if there's a... Uh, if we can customize one of those trains. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. You can do it for the cars, too? Oh, wow. Is there a way to see the... Uh... I thought there was a way to, like, uh, take a look at the paint jobs for them. Wanted to take a look at that one, uh... Oh, well. Let's do, uh... Worst winter of all. Hey, man, brother... In Estonia, a single steam train still runs once a year. Oh, that's cool. Little historical thing. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Welcome to Edge Hill Sidings. We'll be running a freight service down to Crew Bass for the Buford Hall. <laughs> Take care in poor weather. It's expected to get worse. Oh boy. chilly out today, bruh. Wow. Combination brake release. Stop at location indicated. Union Pacific runs a big boy unit on the Pacific West a couple times a year. That I did see, yeah. And saying that's a big train is kind of an understatement. It's a big, 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 big boy. Big. With a capital gargantuan. Colossus.
Not a little short. You know, actually, I think things control differently in different weather conditions, too. I think. It'll act a little differently based on water, or... I think there could even... I think it even simulates... Um, I think it can simulate leaves on the tracks, I think. I mean, obviously, it does in real life, but... I'm not sure about the game, but I think so. Yeah, I think it, it acts the same way in winter as it does with the rainy season. I think. fast. out. Nice. Here we go. Thirty miles. Oh, hell yeah, brother. We get to open her up for thirty miles. That's like the whole length of the line. Actually, let's take a look at the map. So it goes all the way from... an engine shed and crew. All the way, I, think, I would assume it goes maybe past. Oh no, it, it ends at Lime Street. Thought it might allow you to go into a yard or something at the top, but wow, okay. Yeah, we'll get this baby up to 88 miles an hour. This is the type of game I quite enjoy watching someone else play, but have no intent to play myself. Yeah, I have those games, too, where I love watching people play certain, like, uh, 
I don't know what you'd call them, like, uh, roguelikes and stuff. I have games like Path of Exile or Diablo type stuff where I, I just love watching people know what they're doing and just chill out. starting to roll. Very sensitive. I should go in a reverse. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. That's better.
Wow. That thing is very precise. This is Exhibition Junction. Where is uh, where's Conjunction Junction? Man, does that look cold. At 30 miles to go, this will be the hardest part is to get rolling like that. There we go. We're good now. At this speed, we should be able to wait until at least summer. All the snow will melt. <laughs> but it's an H. Ooh. Tatiana Kuba says, Good afternoon, Raptor. I'm currently... Uh, base waiting for my birth control prescription and a 17 year old next to me was like oh that's Raptor you have fans everywhere oh hi <laughs> well that's cool Almost looks like we're going downhill, but it does say up 0.8 grade. <gasps> 
The animation of the firebox doesn't sync up on playable. Boys, we're moving into breakneck five. Wow. Now we're moving at a 1.1. Greedy. We're, we're moving the regulator at 20%, boys. Oh, would you look at that? The snow actually stops underneath the uh, bridge as well. That's a good detail. I didn't even think about that. Man, we're all going to die of... something. Uh, what is the best construction game in your opinion? Um, what do you mean? Like, do you mean like a city builder game or like a simulator construction game? Because we're going to be playing a game later today uh, called Captain of Industry. And Captain of Industry is fantastic for... Uh, building a factory in order to uh, kind of eventually rescue a crew city oh well then uh, it depends if you want an easier experience city skylines is definitely a lot easier than like for example workers and resources Soviet Republic but I do like games that are a little bit more focused on maintaining a population and then exporting things in order to get money to then further uh, take care of that population City Skylines is fun for building like a beautiful thing, you know, thing to do with infrastructure and such. Roads, highways, rail lines, etc. But, um, yeah, I, wa I want more in new city builders. But, yeah, it's hard to beat those two, both City Skylines and uh, Workers and Resources. Oh, we got 30 miles to go in this dam. But I think City Skylines is like, what, 75% off right now on uh, Humble Bundle or something? We're moving. We're good. We're good. How far have we actually traveled? Um, <laughs> probably no more than 500 yards. With the wheels, probably uh, 60 miles. Oh, that's cool. You can see the traffic driving in the snow, too. That's cool.
All right, we've gone one mile now. But now we actually get to go. Open her up, boys. Oh, the Mallard, the world's fastest steam locomotive. That could be coming. I mean, there's nothing that says that they uh, won't bring that back in. I shouldn't say back in, but into this game for the first time. Pretty cool how the aerodynamics on that uh, locomotive look. Watch out for sheep. Uh... there are any sheep on the line I'll never see them until the tracks turn red unless it's a Baba -ba black sheep then that's a different different story if it's a black sheep or brown or whatever gray I didn't think we'd ever get out of that yard. Yep, here we are. Twenty six miles to go.
Yeah, the, the safety release valve, the, the large hiss that you're hearing now is so loud in the game that it, it it's tied to all the sound effects, so it's like it's it's way too um, frequent and way too loud. But I hope there's a separate setting for it in the future. Ooh, the storm is getting worse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stop at location, stranded train. Oh, damn, there's a train in front of us that's blocking the... Stranded train. Oh god. I uh, will be with you in a minute. <laughs> I'll uh we'll circle back. Hold on, Tom Hanks. Hold on. We'll be with you in a minute, sir. The amount of distance we have to walk. Bro, you don't, you don't, bro, you're, you're good. Holy crap, man.
Uh, all right, I'll uh, I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm, ta I'm taking the tea. Oh my god. Well, be fair to me, they didn't really... It, the moment it popped up, I tried to stop, so, you know. I guess they really want you to go slow. It's 30 miles, though. What was I going to do? Go 30 miles at 10 miles an hour? And we'll see... What happens when we get there? Now, now this has become a survival game. We're playing a survival simulator. Got to maintain temperature. Got to eat. Yeah, they want me to back up the train and stop there, but I want to go investigate and see what's uh, what's going on. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you can only... Okay. I think this game really needs an autosave, too, because I feel like, you know, to avoid issues with maybe crashing or something like that, it'd always be a good idea to, uh... You know, maybe... Have multiple little save points along the route just in case something goes wrong. And some of these things, you know, it can always be good to reload so you can go back and take pictures or experience a certain section again. So it was a passenger train. Interesting. You just manual save regularly? Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Well, plus there's only one manual save, so... I think every game should have, like, a... Manual... Or an auto save that saves, like, three or four times... Uh, every 30 minutes or so, you know? Alright, to be, to be fair, we were on a massive uh, cargo train. Oh, yeah, they're... You guys aren't getting anywhere fast. That bre. Oh wow, bro. How did they not derail, dude? A lot of snow. <laughs> Whoa, we walked five miles and like upgraded like ten levels. You want me to back up all that way? No way. What is up with you? Oh my, sir. Is this like the thing? Isn't this the hardest scenario? Oh, it may be, yeah. It feels about right, though. Honestly, the hardest part, I think, was getting started. Whoa, did I just, like, cheat and, like, walk faster? How am I run? This is a pretty insane speed to be running. Wow. We gotta back our train? Okay, wow. Oh boy, alright. I guess we'll give it a try. Quiet down over there. I heard a cow moo, but I don't see any cows.
Wow, wow. Yeah, we're this this is the this is the sprint speed. We can't go any faster than this. What's probably going to happen is we're going to have to uh stop there. And then either like, I don't know, hit E and then magically the snow is all cleared because we cleared it out or We'll just have to go on to an, another destination to stop and then radio for help for them or call, like phone ahead. So we'll go up ahead to the next station and tell them that there's a problem. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, I mean, it only took us like 0. 0.7 miles to stop. Wait. If we reverse another 192 yards, we're going to fail. Wait, so this is in... Wait. We won't be able to... Wait. What? So the scenario's already failed. If we reverse 187 yards further, it will tell us GG. What the hell? Well, that's kind of dumb to like spring on the player as like a like I I thought the scenario would just be like go 30 miles in a snowstorm, but if we can't like yeah that's okay. Well, that's kind of dumb. The only way to win this scenario correct like efficiently is to uh, do it without. You need to have uh, foresight then, or I guess hindsight now. Yeah, I guess they expected you not to do the speed limit, but I'm not sure what the rules are, because I can only go on what I've been told in the uh, training scenarios. I don't know what the proper procedure is when there's a snowstorm. Do I do half, a fourth? I don't know. Uh, that is one of the harder scenarios, yeah. Actually, that's only marked as a 3 out of 5. So that should just be as hard as, like, literally... Wait, what? This scenario of just literally connecting a, tr a locomotive to passenger trains is apparently as hard as that scenario. Wait, what? No. None of these are that hard. None of them are less than 40 minutes, though. <laughs> Whatever, just leave them. Yeah, I wish. I don't think there's a way to load that save, but that's what I'm saying. Auto save would be good there because now we know that we should probably stop. But. Let's see. We have timetables we can do too. Oh, can we change the delivery on this one? Or no? Ooh, we can do a fall time. Fall, light clouds. Can we do the whole route? Be able to do Lime Street to.
Yeah, that scenario just requires you to stop earlier, but yeah, the, the only way we could do that is by literally going very, very far under the speed limit, which is cool. It's just, it takes more time than what we have today. Oh, damn. Starting us out in pitch dark, bro. What's going on back there? What's all the rumbling? Oh, you have to sign in to uh, Dovetail to get the new livery? Okay. Wait, what the hell? Is it raining inside? No. Well, yes. Unplayable. No, now it's not. No, it is. What the? Oh my god. Should that not be glass up there? Nope, this DLC should be out now. It is out officially as of today. I do like it. I think some. I, I really like the scenarios and tutorials in this game. I like the tutorials for being able to easily show you exactly, you know, what to do, especially in, like, a newer Steam train. Newer as in, like, you know, new to the game. And then also, the scenarios are kind of cool to be able to show you... It's kind of like advanced training. It's like it... it Further training with curveballs. Yeah, this is Lime Street Station. Whoa, whoa, not that button. No, 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 no. What do I think of the service mode? I never really do it often. Also, I don't know if I want to drive at nighttime. I think it's a little too dark to actually see anything. That's okay. Ah, here's a more detailed map of everything that we didn't see before. Wow. Look at that. Now imagine having to do this in the city builder. That's some spaghetti. Uh, let's do that, but daytime. I want to be able to see.
Okay, there's our time. Oh, there we go. This one will be fine. Does the guy ever stop shoveling coal? Well, it's not like you can just turn it off. Oh, you got the email that you got a gifted membership? Awesome. Yeah, if you guys are interested in getting a gifted membership, make sure you subscribe and put a one in the chat and then make sure you turn that on. So that way you can get a gifted membership if someone gives it to you. And Calred with the big O10. We should have ourselves some new emotes now. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thank you very much, dude, for the big O support. That is amazing. All right, we're just loading passengers now, and we're ready to go. No steam, yeah, no steam engines are very easy to start up. You just you just turn the key. Oh, there we go. See, just getting it started up right now. Easy. All right, we're instructed now to wait another 30 seconds for whatever reason. I guess the line. An average trip from London to Glasgow uses two tons of coal. No way. Yeah, the Titanic didn't use a lot of coal. They used to bring, like, just a Kingsford bag of, like, charcoal on board. Toss it in, you're good to go. Alright, let's go. Oh, there it is. Looking for you. Wow, it's a rainy day. Can you guys believe that? It's a rainy day in, in England. I can't believe it. Wow. That like never happens. We should take a picture. There we go.
Nice. Do I play Hearts of Iron 4? I have before. We've played it uh, plenty of times on stream and on video. In videos as well on the channel. Rip frame rate? Oh, is YouTube goofing up or something? Looking good for me, 60 frames a second. Alright, boys, time to go to Acton Bridge Platform 2. That's probably what I wanted a little bit more. Uh, the scenarios are nice, but this is. This is what I was hoping for one of the scenarios. It's just a nice little run in the rain. What's up, Bruce? Good to see you. Well, actually, we don't have to stop. We go via location. Uh, where's the train going? Uh, we're leaving... Actually, that's a good question. I would like to see on the map myself. So we're leaving... Uh, where are we? I think here. Oh, there's actually a little bit more to the line. But anyway, we're going from uh, crew all the way up to... Lime Street Station. The, uh, wherever, in, Li in Liverpool, basically. And that is a hell of a line, man. Some of these areas are really cool. Oh, this is great, too. I wonder if we can see all of the... Is there a way to see all the stops? Oh yeah, okay. So we're just running non-stop to platform 8. Uh, we started at... London Euston. The Liverpool Lime Street is the name of that one. Well, would you look at that? What's up, John H? Good to see him. Oh, that's tight. Okay, wow. Man, that was like a 
paper thin. Oh look, all the the members are just chilling out in here. How you guys doing? You enjoying the stream? Okay. All right then. I asked nicely. Oh, cow. Somewhere. There they are. Hi, Jerry. Good to see you. Man, look at those trains. Oh look, it's people who watch Jerry's stream. They're fueling his level 3 hype train. How fast have we managed? Uh, 65, 75 at one point? It sounded like someone was running the shower in your train like 30 minutes ago. Jerry, were you, sh were you taking a shower on the train? We'll see how fast we can go. This is cozy, though. Right, I'll turn up the sounds a little bit. Just because since we're not going to be going too slow. And we'll turn up the music a little bit, too. Let's see. All right, from here on out, folks, you've entered the ultra chill zone. Now we're just gonna gonna chill now. Seriously, XK. Things are going well. You hope I'm having a great day? I feel like it. <laughs> Trained AMSR is ASMR is a thing? Oh yeah? Well, let's see how chat does with this.
Almost looks like it's snowing on the ground. It's very nice to be on a level 69 hype train for Jerry's streams. Back in my day, all of Jerry's streams were level 69 hype train. Boomer emote. Conductor emote, boomer emote. That was cool. Hey guys, can we get a like in the chat for the uh, AI lady? Ma'am, you're letting the heat out. Okay, never mind. She's doing all the work. I'm just chilling. Damn, is this nice, though. Open country, brother. Amen.
Uh, past new locomotives are green. The cargo locomotive is uh, black color. Very chill. Pretty cool. Uh, no, our, our stop is at the very end of the line. We, we don't have to stop till the very end. Why is the station marked? Just to give you waypoints along the way to the final destination. Like legs in the journey.
What do I think about the graphics? What year did this game come out? Uh, this game came out in 2020, and the graphics are good. I guess for a simulator game, this is. Um, now I don't. I don't know. If, I mean, they could probably get much better, but when the when the realism of the game is sitting in a train cab operating the train, I mean, that's kind of what I expect it to look like, like that. I think it looks nice. Hey Raptor, they finally added Steam, a long four years since 2018. Yeah, I think, didn't the original game come out in 2018? I think the new one's 2020, right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad it's here. I hope we see more games with Steam with all sorts of different eras. I want to I wanna drive Steam trains in 1850. I want to drive uh, Steam trains in 1900. I want to drive st Steam trains in 1950. I want to do the uh, some of the first electric trains. I want to do, mo <coughs> sorry, modern trains. I want to be in the you know the American West in like the late 1800s. I want to be in Europe in the 20s. All sorts of different places. We have yet to see Japan in this though. I want to see Japan for my own selfish desires. Desire. You can kind of drive steam trains and transport fever too. Oh, that's true. And you can also do it machinky. But there's also games like this called uh, Railroad uh, Railroads Online, which is great. Lots of fun to build a railroad with friends in that game. Although that's mostly a cargo uh, game. But Transport Fever 2 is probably one of my most favorite for, uh... I recently, like, went to the American West in that. I, I set up, like, a, an Old West map and started setting up trains during, like, the horse and buggy steam era. And man, that was badass. I enjoyed that a lot. Train Sim Classic has Steam in Japan. Oh, we'll have to try that out sometime. Thank you, chat, for 400 likes. That's awesome. Thank you guys for the support. Welcome again to all the new members. And as a reminder to you, I want to give all of you guys a free game on the Discord. There can only be one winner, but uh, we're going to be playing Captain of Industry today, an industrial-centered game kind of taking place in modern times. That's really, really cool. And there'll be a video for that just after the stream. So make sure you're on the, uh, on the Discord for that. Not only to see that game, but also for a free giveaway. All you gotta do is be on the Discord, that's it. What channel are, are the giveaways in? Uh, the general, the general chat. Everybody uh, can join that, link's in the description.
Oh, well, typically graphics don't really make a good game. Simulators should have good graphics, but if they go further and further and further into graphics and not actual gameplay, then we end up with Battlefield 2042. And we all know what happened there. But typically when you're, when you're um, simulating something, you have to do whatever it is to simulate that. So, for example, um, in this type of game, it's not like... I mean, you can leave, you can leave the... Uh, you can leave the train and go out and switch the signals, but you can't build the tracks. I think this game does a good job of trying to uh, accomplish what it simulates. Holy crap, look at this. Oh boy. That is amazing looking. Look at that. Wow. That looks absolutely amazing. Back on the other side with all the houses, that looks just cool as hell. This side too. Yeah, this is music from SnowRunner. Look at that train bridge, though. That's amazing. That line is beautiful. All right, let's go. Hold up there, Chief. Hold up. Scenic route. We're taking pictures. That is pretty. Okay, let's go. I just wanted to take pictures because it's pretty. First the forwards, Sam. We need Japanese routes, I agree. I'd love to see Japan and uh, would love to see certain eras in Japan with steam, electric, you know, modern train, Shinkansen, that'd be crazy. Must be something to do with copyright or they're just strategically saving it for a big, something big. I'm sure there's some legal issues as well for getting logos and things. Alright. Let's finish this up.
You love a train sim of Minnesota and Wisconsin with the UP? Union Pacific. Oh, look at that. Assuming at a certain point we're going to have to slow down here shortly. Uh, did I get any trees that fell from last night's storm? Um, not that I saw. It wasn't too wasn't too bad where I am. There was a hailstorm about a month ago, and that wasn't that bad either. All right, boys, we're almost there. End of the line shortly. This is a fantastic route. This is a really really long really long uh, route. Very nice. You're still waiting for uh, insurance from the hailstorm, yeah. Oh, we're up. We're up by stopping here. I believe. And holy crap, a 20 bomb. Whoa! 20 new memberships from Squeezel. Oh boy. That's a big one. Wow. Thank you very much.
That is awesome, man. Look at all you new members. All right, spam those gift bomb emotes in the chat. If you're a new member, go ahead and say thank you as well if you got yourself a juicy new membership. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. You can actually see the, the rain, like the... I don't know if it looks only this way when it rains, but you can kind of see the precipitation on the outside of the... on the outer casing of the locomotive. That looks cool as hell. Thank you very much everybody for all your support today. Wow, look at that. Lots of pictures from today's stream, that's for sure. Alright, we're almost there. Two point two miles to go to our end destination. Or at least uh like final approach. Right, let's get ready to slow down. Thunder Chicken 64, welcome aboard as a hatchling. Yeah! Thank you very much for smacking that uh, join button as well. Let's get some green eye emotes in the chat. Green eye emotes, go, 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 brother, yeah. You love watching the streams, pretty much all your favorite types of games. Ah, oh, that's great. Yeah, I love it when you guys love all the games that I play. We're not always going to be interested in all the same games, but if you guys are interested in most of what I play, that's pretty cool. 
I feel like a lot of these games link together nicely. You know, like Train Sim World might get you interested in Transport Fever and then get you to go play. Um, you know, then maybe you go on to like City Skylines, and then go build some airports there, and then work your way over to Flight Sim. All good stuff. Slow down. Brakes are a little more effective on the passenger trains. Ten minutes late, it's fine. We took the scenic route. Especially when we stopped over the river, which was beautiful, totally worth it. down here deep. Well, 
this is cool. The glow of the firebox. Wow. Alexander, before you uh, wrote that comment and you accepted the guidelines to come into the chat, did you think that the rules didn't apply to you or, or just everybody else? Wait, why is it wet down here? Some of the tunnels, it's completely wet. It's a tunnel. Bail out. <laughs> now we're fine. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that lady running, dude? That was awesome, man. Holy crap. All right, I, I think parts of that tunnel were completely drenched. That should have been completely dry. That should have helped us to come on in and stop. Holy crap. <laughs> That was awesome. Did you see that lady running? That was great. That one lady was making a run for it. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's see where the, the checkpoint is. Right, let's try that final approach one, one more again. So it looks like the entire train line is going to be uh, wet all the way in. So even though most of it's kind of tunnel-y and underground, well, not completely underground, but it should be wet, then dry, then wet, then dry. But I guess we have to pretend as if the whole thing is outside. So let's, let's come on in for a final approach one more again. was hilarious and by the way I used to never ever ever see crashes in this game but I don't know if they added that in now or because you used to just kind of like fade to black and that was about it now they <laughs> now they actually like uh, they put in the uh, the animation for that or at least I don't remember it I right, better keep her under like 20 I nah, better keep her under 15 I just, I like that woman at the end of the platform on the right side. She was like in a light blue uh, dress and she was just like, <laughs> I saw her just bailing out. Like she was like, oh, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm not taking the train. I'll wait until they invent a uh, hovercraft or something. That was awesome.
Okay. We gotta keep we gotta keep it around fifteen anyway. I didn't want a full stop. Try that one more again. Here we go. We're almost there. End of the line. Yeah, see, it should be completely dry in here. The tracks, this part, the tracks should act accordingly and be more responsive. But I'm no expert. Yeah, we got a steam train, James. It's pretty sweet. Now, hopefully we get more. I, I would love to see add-ons on to this line as well that added uh, new trains as well, maybe. That could also come with maybe, you know, if they, since this is 1958 by, I'm sure, 19, you know, 65 or something like that, or 1970, there could still be steam trains. You, maybe this was the last, but it'd be cool to see other trains on this line. Thank you. 
<laughs> For whatever reason, um, I had to hold the button and it wasn't, um, I had to hold the brake rather than just like use it as a slider. Alright, a little a little jolt there, but at least everybody's awake. <laughs> That'll buff out. Drive in? Oh, that's nice. The hell, they have colored television now? Perfect. Couldn't, couldn't have done it better at all. <laughs> Alright boys, that's going to be it for today's AM stream of Train Sim World 2. However, I got something special for you. Uh, a video being released right now for a game called uh, Captain of Industry, which we'll have a giveaway for later today on the channel. So thank you everybody for being here. You guys are fantastic. I'll be doing a sponsored video for Train Sim World 2 tomorrow as well. Kind of just going into a little bit more in depth on the tutorial and a few other things to know about the steam trains that the developers thought would be cool that I cover. But I, I like this a lot. That's why I already did it on my own free time, because I love this game. And I'm very excited that they finally, finally have steam trains. Like, that's really cool. And uh, that's something that I've wanted that I think was not necessarily missing, but definitely needed to be uh, added, you know. And now it's here. So Poglad. Cool. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and spam the link for your uh, video that you guys can follow to uh, Captain of Industry. Thanks again for being here. You guys are the number one community out there, so thanks for being a part of all the streams. And we'll be back for more Spirit of Steam tomorrow, and uh, maybe come on back to this DLC if there's more. Thanks again for joining me, you guys. You're the number ones out there, so put a number one in the chat. Thanks for being a part of our stream today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, or rather, later today for more. Bye, buddy. See you soon. <laughs>